This lesson is on simplifying radicals. When you simplify radicals, uh, you want to make sure that you do the prime factorization. So that's number one. And then what you're looking for are uh, sets or pairs. So depending on what the root is, if it's a square root, you're looking for sets of two. If it's a cube root, you're looking for sets of three that you can take out. And you only get to keep one. So let's look at our first example. In our first example, it says we're going to simplify the square root of 32. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the prime factorization of 32. So 32, we could say, would be like 4 times 8, neither of which are prime, so we keep going. 4 is going to be 2 times 2. Those are both prime. 8 would be 4 times 2. 2 is prime, but we keep going with the 4. And then 4 is 2 times 2. So when we do our square root here, that's going to be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos multiplied times each other. And so now what you're looking for is you're looking for sets. Since this is a square root, we're looking for sets of 2. So here's a set of 2. Here's a set of 2. Now when you pull it out, you only get to keep 1. So we take one of these out. We take one of these out. So when I take a 2 outside, I'm done with the inside. When I take a 2 from here outside, we're going to multiply them, I'm done with it on the inside. But look, this one is still left inside the radical. It doesn't have a pair. So we still need a radical symbol, and we're going to leave that 2 inside as the radicand. So now we just multiply here. 2 times 2 is 4, so our final answer will be 4 square root of 2. Let's look at number 2. Number 2, we could expand out, and I see I have 9 of the letter M. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 M's. And so again, this is a square root. We're looking for sets of 2, so that's 1 set, 2 sets, 3 sets, 4 sets of M's that are going to come out. So that means we're going to be taking 4 M's out because we only take one of each. And what's still inside is this M, so we leave it inside as the radicand. So our coefficients here are radicands here. We'll go ahead and box that and we're done. On number three, this time we have a combination of letters and uh, numbers. So on number three, we're going to go ahead and do the prime factorization of 84. And so 84, I can see that's divisible by 4, so I could say 4 times, 4 goes in there 2 times, it goes in there 1. So 4 would be the factors of 2 times 2, and 21 would be 3 and 7. So these are all prime now. So what I can do now is I can go back inside, and I can write my factors starting with 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. And then I have 4 m's, 1, 2, 3, 4 m's. Again, we're looking for pairs. So I see a pair of 2's, a pair of M's, and a pair of M's. So I'll pull out one of these 2's. We're done with that one. I'll pull out, looks like we're going to pull out one each of these M's. So we've got two of them and all that we're pulling out. And the only thing left inside is going to be this 3 times 7, which is 21. So that would be my final answer. On this one here, don't be thrown off by the fact that there's a coefficient of 3. We're still just going to work with the number 72. 72 would be 8 times 9. So then 8 would be 2 times 4. 2 is prime. 4 can keep going, which would be 2 times 2. 9 can be broken down into 3 times 3. So now we can put that 3 coefficient on the outside, square root, and now we're going to write all these factors that make 72. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And now we're looking again, square root would mean we're looking for pairs. So there's a pair, and here's a pair. So we're going to take one of these out. Remember, when we take them out, we're going to be multiplying them. So since I already have a 3 up there, we're going to pull out one, two, and multiply it. And we're going to pull out one of these 3's and multiply it with what's outside already. And the only thing left on the inside as the radicand is going to be a 2. So now 3 times 3 is 9 times 2 is 18, square root of 2. And then that would be my final answer. On this last problem, notice it's slightly different because we have a 3. We're now looking for sets of 3. So let's start with the prime factorization of 54, which would be 9 times 6. 
And then to get 9, we would have 3 times 3, both are prime, and 6 would be 2 times 3. So now let's go ahead and put our cube root of 2 times, we have 3 of these 3's, and then I see I have x's here and I've got 3 of those as well. Remember, this tells me how many we're looking for in a set. So I'm looking for sets of 3, so here's a set of 3, and here's a set of 3. When you pull it out, you still just get to keep 1. So I'm taking out 1, 3, I'm done with this one. I'm taking out 1x, I'm done with this one. This is still inside, and it has that 3, which means the cube root. So we're going to leave that cube root symbol there, and that 2 is still stuck inside, but then this would be my final answer.